guys, um, I'm going to do a review and sort of just talk about my experience at Sleep No More. Um, I just want to say, like, first off, um, I will talk about spoilers. I will say when I'm going to talk about spoilers, so if you haven't seen it and you don't want to know about anything spoilerish, um, I'll warn you beforehand, so you're good for now. Basically, it's an off-Broadway show, um, loosely based on Macbeth, and it's not like, you don't sit down and watch a show. You it's like a warehouse. The whole thing takes place in a warehouse and it's like five stories with a mysterious sixth floor. We don't know what that is, but um, five floors where you can just wander around, do whatever you want. You can do anything you want. Um, you can go through in different rooms if the door is unlocked. Um, you can go through drawers. You can follow the actors, which is what, you know, you basically what you do is you follow the actors. You'll see an actor just come around the corner and um, you can either decide to follow them, or to not, or to just watch them. You also get these masks, so you know who is the actor and who's not. So yeah, this is what you look like, and everyone wears these masks, and... I'm gonna take that off. And yeah, everyone wears these masks, um, but the actors. The actors obviously don't. So that's how you know who is an actor and who's not. And it's really, like, weird to see a bunch of people just wearing these masks. I don't know, it was creepy. So yeah, it runs about three hours, I think, depending on what night you go, and they do the show three times. So they do a whole run of the show for, I guess, the first hour, then they repeat it again, and then they repeat it again, and then there's a finale at the end. And the point of, you know, doing the show three times is so that you can see new things. There's no way you can see the entire show at one time, because it's not possible, it's not physically possible. So basically that's what it is. I mean, you can go anywhere, the actors can go up to you, they can, you know, take you in a room and have like a one-on-one -on -one experience, as they call it. It's just really insane and crazy and awesome. And before I talk about spoilers, I just wanted to sort of say to anyone who's thinking of going, um, go. Trust me, you have to just go. It's incredible. I'm going to go back. There's no way I, you can just go once. I really don't think there is. I need to go again. There's so much more that I need to do. There's so much more, and also, this is really important for those of you who are thinking of going. Um, for me, I was like dead set on not walking around by myself just because I was scared. So I was like, no way, there's no way I'm going to walk around by myself, I'm going to stick with my friends, I'm not going to do anything, you know, by myself. And, you know, about halfway through, I totally just like was running in an opposite direction from everybody else, I was following an actor. I know that there are a lot of people that don't want to go, you know, through the whole show by themselves because they don't want to be alone and they want to be able to find their friends again, which you totally can. I ran into everyone I was with like five times. It was really funny. But um, trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. Go alone from the beginning you step in. Once they let you off to go, um, go in your own direction. Go alone. Trust me, you will definitely be glad that you did. There are no lines in the show, there's no dialogue, it's really just sort of... And I don't want to say interpretive dance because that totally puts people off, so, like right away when I say that. Some of you are like, well that's really stupid, I'm not going to like it. But trust me, it's not even like that. Like, there are fight scenes where they walk on the walls and it's like... It's just like insane, you're like watching someone... I don't know, it's like be pulled by strings, but there aren't strings at all. It's just like their own acrobatics. Also, um, some other important things, wear comfortable shoes wear a t-shirt, you're gonna be running, and you're gonna be sweating. I'm gonna talk about spoilers now, so you're gonna want to X out of the video if you don't want to know anything. Okay, so, oh my god, where do I even begin? Okay, so you walk in and it's like a bar, like a, like it from the 30s or something, it's just so bizarre and it's awesome. And they give you a playing card and you pretty much sort of go with your card number, but you don't really have to, but you can. That's sort of how they do it. So they give you the playing card, and then they call you in based on your number, and then they bring you into, like, right before you go on an elevator, they bring you in, and they give you your mask. And you have to wear your mask, and they say pretty much rules like, you know, you can't talk, which you can't. Don't try. Also, they say things, you know, like, fortune favors the bold and stuff, and I knew about that, and I was, I was like, I don't care. I'm not going to be bold. I don't want to, I don't want to get alone. But you do. When you, when you get there, you really do. You're like, I don't care about anyone. I'm running. I'm running after that guy. I'll see you guys later. So then we get on this elevator, and the guy who's running the elevator, you know, tells us all to get off on this floor. 
and then he lets one guy go, and then he stops everyone else, and he shuts the elevator door, and we're like, oh shit, like, that guy just got screwed. Don't be the first one off the elevator. You're gonna get screwed, and you're gonna be alone. I was glad that was not me. So then we get off on the real floor, and I'm just, like, freaking out thinking about it. It was the coolest, craziest thing ever. So we're on this floor, and we're going in different rooms and stuff, and right away, there's this actress, I think, that we found, and so I'm with, I'm with my friends, and one of my friends is Louie, and, um, and so we follow this actress, and he's, Louie's like in front of us, so he's sort of leading the group. And this actress sort of, um, walk, we follow her up to a door, and she, I think she takes out a key, and then she turns around and she looks at Louie, and she tells him to come with her, and we're like, Oh my god, Louie's gonna die! Well, I was thinking that. So yeah, they, she shut the door behind him, and we were just like, you know, we just stood there like, Okay, I guess we'll keep going. So we kept walking, and just like, I mean... There's so much of it that's a blur that I don't really... I mean, there's stuff that happened, and I was like, oh my god, this is just insane. Like, seriously, you're wearing this mask, but underneath it, like, nobody can see when your jaw drops to the floor. Like, nobody can see when you're like, oh my god! Like, nobody can see that, which is good, because I would look like an idiot, and so would everyone else. So there's this one part where I went, I think it was Lady Macbeth's room. This is before I split up with my, the people I was with, but um, we all went, and she was like going insane, like she, like, was falling down all these, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it, she was just throwing herself all around the room, and then she went behind this thing, and there was, like, a plastic window, and she was just, like, throwing her body at the window, and giving you this creepy stare, and I was like, oh my god, what is happening? It was seriously like you're watching a horror movie scary, except it's right in front of you. So somewhere in the time frame of being there, about halfway through, I think, we, or less than that, we found Louis again, and we found him because he was wearing, like, this necklace, and we, like, told each other before we went in, like, alright, Louis's wearing the necklace, she's wearing a scarf, like, we tried to figure out how we could find each other. So we see, like, you know, Louis's wearing his mask and everything, and we just see him, like, point at us, like, with his necklace, and we're like, oh, okay, it's Louis. And then he has another necklace, and the lady who took him gave him the necklace, but she, like, when she, she he told us that when she brought, he told us this after, because you're not allowed to talk, but he, she brought him into the room and like, she, you know, he was wearing his mask and she had him take off his mask and she, I don't know, she had him look in a mirror and then she told him like, then she took him into a closet and like was whispering this story to him. I don't even know. I would have died. It's really uncomfortable. It's really awkward. Even when like, because I was going through and there would be different times when like the actors make eye contact with you. And you're like, I mean, you're just, like, screaming inside, like, this is really uncomfortable, I'm really, you know, sort of scared right now, because they are so in their character, and they just, like, stare at you. Anyway, obviously I'm still very affected by this performance. I went, like, a few days ago, and I haven't stopped thinking about it. Okay, so we're walking around, and there's, like, a bunch of other stuff that is there. I can't even begin to describe it. I mean, one of it is, like, a graveyard, one is a ballroom where the finale takes place. One is, I mean, there are just tons of rooms. There's like a room full of bathtubs, which was really freaky, and I didn't want to go in because it just freaked me out. Um, there was like an outdoor type of thing, I think where the witches' huts were. Um, I don't know, I mean, you have to like, it really felt like you're outside. There was just endless amounts of places where you could go and get lost. So about halfway through, I, you know, went my own way. I separated from my friends. I just ran after an actor, and it was kind of scary at first, because I was like, I knew once I left who I was with, I was not going to find them. I was only going to find them by chance, so if I needed, if I wanted them, um, I wouldn't be able to find them. So that was really freaky, and it's five floors, so you're stuck. But um, anyway, it was fine, obviously, but you still sort of feel like, I mean, if you're afraid in the first place to go by yourself, and then you finally go by yourself, you're it's very liberating, I don't know. I was just like, screw it, I'm getting my money's worth, I'm going on my own. Also, the masks um, are very liberating as well, because nobody knows who you are, which is why a lot of celebrities have gone, I assume, because the celebrities can just walk around and nobody knows who it is. Um, yeah, so you can do whatever you want, and like, you're completely anonymous, except for your eyes, but whatever. Um, and like, there are some people that, you know, the fortune favors the bold, they would they would, you know, get close to the actors and, like, sort of be bold, and you all knew, like, alright, that guy's, that guy's being bold, he's trying to be favored. 
but you know I was like too nervous to like get close and also like when they're um fighting and when they're doing their like you know scenes the actors they will like push into you like you you cannot be in their way or else you will like fall to the ground and get like trampled by them it's not dangerous well it kind of is but um you know I didn't get hurt or anything obviously I think Kelly Osbourne got a black eye but whatever we're not all Kelly Osbourne but yeah I mean there would like there would be <laughs> this is really funny but there would be like a guy you know wearing the mask who was like I'm gonna be bold I'm gonna you know sit in this chair while these actors are next to me and so he would sit in the chair with his mask and you just see like an actor like just literally like just like push him off the chair because they're like we need the chair for what we're doing you need to move they just push people like if the scene needed a space that was being taken over by like some masked people they just like <laughs> push you out of the way it's really funny anyway but this is leading up to what I did I the one thing I did that was bold the whole night just because I was like I need to do something even though I'm going back I'm definitely going back but when I was there I was like I want to do something where I feel like I really, like, I don't know, went out of my comfort zone. So, okay, so I went into this, like, bar type area. And it's not the bar where you meet up. Um, if you get overwhelmed during the show, you can go to where you first went when you got there, when you got the playing cards, the bar on the second floor. You can go back at any time. I obviously didn't because I paid to see everything, so. But if you feel like you want to, you can. But it was a different bar, and... There was a lady in a red dress sitting at this table and she was cutting up food. And when I was in there, I, I saw another friend of mine and we were like, oh, you know, we saw each other. And so she was sort of closer to me and we were kind of next to each other and we were just watching this lady, this actress, cut up her food and she was just, like, staring into space. Like, she was just so fixated on something that wasn't there. And everyone, you know, <laughs> everyone who's there with the masks was like this. They were just like... What is she looking at? You know what I mean? Like, you just let everybody's masks go. Like, because, I don't know, it was just weird. She wasn't even looking at anything. She was just so focused on nothing. And so, you know, she just looked crazy. So, I was sitting there for a while, and I was just watching her, and I was like... And, you know, there was a group of about, I don't know, 20 masked people around surrounding her. And, yeah, she was sitting at this small circular table, and there was a chair next to her, so I was like... I was like really debating in my head like, do I sit? Should I do it? Oh my god, should I do it? But what if I do and she does something crazy and I really regret it? Do I be bold? Do I not be bold? Do I do it? And so I did it. I sat in the chair and on the inside when I was doing it I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna regret this because I'm just, I shouldn't do this. But I was just sitting there. I was sitting in the chair with her, wearing my mask and um, you know, I was just sitting there like this. She was next to me and I was just looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> like this. I'm sorry. It's just funny to me. And um, and so I'm just sitting there. I'm going to take this off now. And uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm looking at her in my mask. And she's still fixated on something in the distance. And she's still cutting up her food and eating it very slowly. And, and then all of a sudden she just sort of like turns her head. Like she sort of like turns her head towards me. And she looks me right, right in the eyes, you know. And I'm just like, oh my god, she's looking at me. And it was... Oh my god. Seriously, you feel like you're gonna like pass out because it's so... I don't know. It's just so creepy. Anyway, so yeah, she just like stared at me for a few minutes and then she looked back. And then, um... And then like a few minutes passed and we were just like staring at her, waiting for her to do something. And she ends up reaching towards... There was like this, you know, audience member with the mask guy kind of in front of her. And so she reached out for his hand, and I was like, oh my god, something's happening, and I'm right here, and it's really, I got like a front row view of this. And so she reaches, and she has his hand, she starts, like, making this weird, like, she starts sort of, like, lifting her head up and, like, looking forward, and, like, it, she looks like she's, honestly, like, I thought she was gonna, like, throw up blood, something creepy, and I was like, great, the one time that I decide to be bold, I'm gonna get thrown up on, and it's gonna be gross, like, that's what I was thinking. So she's doing that, and all of a sudden she pulls a ring out of her mouth, and everyone was like, you know, masks on, like this, this is all you see, but on the inside they're like, oh my god! So she pulls a ring out of her mouth, and she like wipes it off, and she puts it on the guy's finger, and I'm like, oh my god. And the guy, I know he's shitting his pants, because I just, I look at him in his eyes, and he's just like standing there, and he's just like, I could feel his heart racing. Anyway, um, so she gets up, or no, she doesn't get up yet, she starts... This music starts playing, and it's like a slowed-down version of Peggy Lee's 
is that all there is? And she starts, it's like a creepy, like, circusy, slowed down version of it. And it almost sounds like a man's voice, I don't know. Anyway, so she starts, like, mouthing the words to it and, like, acting it out. And my friend that was with me, she told me afterwards that her jaw, like, dropped to the floor because she was just, I mean, it was just, like, the most, like, weird sight I've ever seen that was bizarre. Um, and then she walks over and she, like, gets on the stage and she's, you know, acting it out and mouthing the words and everyone's just like, oh my god. And she's like, you know, looking at different people in the audience and it was just creepy. So that was definitely a highlight for me because it was just like, I don't know, I was like the closest I'd been to the actor, it's like that, yet yeah, that night. And so then after that I was like, more, I want more. So I like ran up the stairs, ran down the stairs, trying to find somebody else. Was fo I followed this one actress around like right on top of her like for like 15 minutes. She, it was weird. She like buried this thing in the cemetery. I don't even know. So then I left her because she just started like folding clothes and I was like, whatever, I want to find something else. So I ended up finding some more of my friends that I had come with and um, we were like, there was this thing with the telephone booths and like, it was just like crazy. They were, I mean, I don't even know how to describe it. I can't describe it. You have to just go um, see it for yourself. What else? I'm trying to think. I mean, it's just definitely really creepy when, I don't know, like an actor walks by and like, like touch your shoulder or they like, like I don't know, like they look you in the eyes and it's just, it's really freaky. But, I mean, I guess that's it. That's all I can really say that I can describe. I mean, there's so much more. I didn't even, you know, scratch the surface of it. But it was, like, unforgettable and incredible. Um, and really, I mean, it's not for everyone. You have to be the type of person that, I mean, I guess, like, really you can only enjoy it if you try to enjoy it, like, if you want to enjoy it. I mean, I'm sure there are some people who went that are like, oh, this is so boring, I'm sweating in my mask, which you totally don't sweat in your mask, really. I mean, I guess it depends on the person, but I didn't. Um, and especially since this is all open on the bottom, you know, um, it's not, like, suffocating you. Um, and I don't know, I thought it was awesome, like, to be able to wander around a warehouse for five floors and, like, find actors and interact with people. You do what you want, you make of it what you want, and... Yeah, I mean, I'm going again. I'm going to get tickets for it again. I'm telling all my friends. Um, and, yeah, I want everyone to go. I can't stop reading online about it. I want, like, blueprints or, like, a map of the whole, like, warehouse so that I know where I want to go. I mean, I've already been to it, so it's not like I'm going to be ruining anything for myself, but I want to know where everything is because there was, like, a lot of stuff that I didn't see, a lot of stuff that I saw that other people didn't see, but I want to be able to figure out where to go and where everything is. But anyway, um, and I mean, you're never going to see the same thing again. Like, every time you go, I'm sure you see something different. I mean, even in the three times that they did the show when I was there, I saw something different every time. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, see Sleep No More if you can. They're still extending the date. And comment below on, I don't know, anything related to this in any way. I don't care. I w if you went, oh my god, if you went, comment below on your experience, and that's it. Bye.